So we're on day one million of this quarantine and probably about day 1000 of this heat wave and I thought I would do a garden update to let you see what's happening in my garden. So the berry bushes have actually done really well. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any raspberries on them right now but we've had several strawberries off of them. The blueberries are just starting to come in. As you can see, they're just starting to turn blue. Um, we've lost a lot to the birds. This is Hank. You found him in the pond and he's going back to the pond today. He was just vacationing with us for a little while. He actually really enjoys turtle food, but he's going to go back. Um, we did get a lot of blackberries, as you can see by these right here but a lot of the birds ended up getting them before we did so that was one of the issues that we had Ooh, there's another blue really blue one see if you can see that okay so these are the stargazer lilies these come up every year and they're just they just take over so this is the pepper garden, as I call it, and this is how it's doing. It's pretty full. The corn is growing, although at different rates. And so far I don't see any ears of corn on any of the stalks, but that's coming soon. The peppers are coming in. They don't seem to have very many problems. We've got a few that have some leaf issues and stuff like that, but overall, in general, we really haven't had many issues with the peppers. Um, there's some of the cayenne peppers are coming in. You can see, I don't know if you can see that, but right there, right there, there's a pepper growing away. Some of them are not growing at all, so I might just pull them up just to give room for everything else. This guy's doing really well. He's got lots of little starts on him. So we should be seeing some peppers from him soon. And then the butternut lettuce or butter crunch, butter crunch lettuce. The purple beans, bush beans, they're starting to bloom. So that's good. The zucchini and the cucumber. So here's where we have had some problems is with the zucchini and the cucumber. Just recently I noticed we had a lot of cucumber beetles, I think they're called. Um, I don't know if we'll find any right now because I spent the morning getting rid of them. But they were all inside the zucchinis, inside the flowers of the cucumber. They were everywhere. So I probably pulled off about 40 of them this morning and we'll see how well they do. We've also got zucchini over here because I didn't think they would all start. So we've got some growing in the pots and he's coming up nicely. And this one I trimmed back this morning because of the zucchini beetles. But as you can see, there's lots of little starts on it. have lots of zucchini soon. The sunflowers are all coming up really nicely. We did have a bit of a disaster right here. Just a word to warning, if you're going into somebody's garden or even backyard and you have a dog, keep them on a leash. We don't have a dog, but these two sunflowers, one where the birdhouse is and one where the empty spot is, we're both 
dog disasters that did not belong to us. So these are the green beans, the pole beans. So they're growing all the way up the trellis here to there. And by the end of the summer, they'll probably be all the way up the trellis. But they're starting to flower now, as you can see. So we should have some little beans shortly. Oh, I see one. Right there. See him? It's just tiny. But he's there. Very cute. Uh, this, this is the tomato garden. And it's exploding. <laughs> there are tomatoes everywhere. Take you down in here. Tons of little clusters of tomatoes. These ones are Romas down there. Uh, these ones I believe are called Cherry 100s or something like that. Um, these are Tiny Toms. They'll be ready real soon. They're starting to get red. Like those two could probably be picked in the next day or so. These are those big beefsteak tomatoes. Like that. And they're coming in nicely. Some more right there. I believe that one is a beefsteak as well. Right there. And these are some more tiny toms. And then we got our carrots. Big, long, bushy line of carrots. They're very small though, like if I pull them out, they're very tiny little carrots still so far. I've tested them every once in a while just to see how big they are. And they're only like that. Not very big at all. They're not ready at all. This one I'll leave for the bunnies. You can come and nibble on this instead of getting into my garden and destroying everything. The snow peas, the kids were doing a really good job of picking and eating before I could even get them off and they've kind of ignored them that now we've got several that have gone too big. So I'll probably just Pull the shells off and eat the peas inside. Put them in a stir fry or something. And then I think we're gonna plant huca melons this week. So there's the trellis. Everything's starting to grow up the trellis. The tomatoes. The peppers. This is the cucumber side of the trellis. It's doing really well. I just wish those cucumber beetles would disappear. But that's about it. That's the garden as it is right now. I think, like I said, we're on week 10. So we're getting to a point where everything's gonna start coming in and we'll be eating straight from the garden, which will be amazing.